I expect some of these teams to move columns, right, over the next two weeks. They think that they're buyers. They're really sellers. They'll realize that. Tracy running point guard for us over on the board. So, Zach, you've been talking to all the front offices for the last few weeks. Who do you think you want to move over into the buyer's column? First of all, we need to get him, like, the Bob Barker microphone. <laughs> right? Like, the, the super long microphone. I just microphone. said this whole segment shows off Tracy's watch because this man has a watch collection I can't even begin. Uh, someone had Adidas money right uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. Hey. Woo! There we go. Um, who do you want to see him most, move over? Most obvious buyer in the whole league is New Orleans. So move New Orleans over to buy. They're desperate to keep Anthony Davis, which means they're desperate to make the playoffs, which means they're desperate to add talent and maybe trade <laughs> their first round pick for like the 19th year in a row or whatever their current streak is on that. So they're they're the easily the most obvious one. Kimek, do you think they should be in that column or a different column? Uh, I think they should be in this column. I really do. They they need to surround this guy with some, some pieces. I mean, he's too talented to be wasting his years away in New Orleans without being able to compete for a championship. See, I thought you were going to say you want them in the seller column because you've been saying that Anthony Davis might want to ask for a trade. Well, I don't know who they could get for him this year to make that a... Uh, <laughs> make it good for them. Make, make it, it good for, for them. them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think know. I, I'm what with, they want to do. Yeah, no, I'm with, I'm with you guys. Look, I think that they have to buy. I don't think that they should trade AD now. There's no... Bet. More teams can get in the no. Derby this it's, summer. It's, yeah. Um, and they want to just do every rep they can, right? Every possible thing they can to try to keep him yeah. as they should. Um, what ne team next? I want to put a sneaky one in there. I want to throw Portland on by. If we're going to do buyers, let's go Portland. Portland is just sort of cruise at 29 and 19. <laughs> yeah. under, that's their logo. That's correct. Uh, 29 and 19. But like Tracy said, like they just kind of keep hitting the roadblock in the playoffs. And it feels like they could they could look at the West right now and say, hey, why couldn't we be number two? Why couldn't we make the conference finals? Like the, the door's open. Yeah. Why don't we try to maybe put our first round pick in play and get something extra on the wing? I just, that's I can see them some around. Zach is Carmelo. Anthony. That's not the something. He is ready to <laughs> go. A different thing. He can help these guys get to the next level. I'm telling you, they need a bona fide pure score. They need that other guy. He is the other guy. Mm. You are all in on this Melo to Portland thing. I, I just like think it. it's He's a, starting a movement. perfect fit. I really do. They recruited him. Remember Damon CJ? Or yes. Was CJ recruited yes. him. Yes. Remember the Instagram post? That wasn't tampering, but you know, Ron having dinner <laughs> right. with KD, right. that's tampering. Um, uh, who should be a seller, guys? What do you think? Well, aside from all the terrible teams that we all know are going to be sellers, right. I, I think the most, like, you know, your Atlantas, your Chicago's. Well, your I think Yorks. you can move the Cavaliers, right, into the sellers column. Sure, I'm sure there's a Knicks. raging, raging demand for. <laughs> Tristan Thompson, Knicks in there. <laughs> sure, dump salary to try and get KD. Absolutely, right. Hawks. You want a Dwayne Dedman? You want a Jeremy Lane? You want a Kent Bazemore? Right, Who so else Hawks. you want? Yeah. Is this like who he played for? Are you having trouble with the logos? <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix already waved everybody <laughs> or bought everybody right. out. Yeah, they, they didn't could... wait to trade anyone. So, so the 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 most interesting team in the league ah, is the big the big bear that. head dun, 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 dun. that Tracy has now because they are I believe they're eight games under now or nine games Marcus under. Marcus Television is telling me nine games under. Right. They are almost unrecoverable territory now in this season. And when you get there, yeah, I mean, look at the 3-17. Wow, and 3-17? It's, it's time. You can't be the guy saying everything is fine while mm -hmm. the house is exploding behind you every single year. It's time You're to have some. You're not the dog some, with the cup of coffee? <clears throat> no, it, it, yeah, you can't be that dog thing. <laughs> at dog some point, thing. you need to at least have a conversation. You can't just keep, oh, it's unthinkable. It's unthinkable <laughs> right. we would do this. No, it's actually thinkable. Right. And it's time to start thinking about it. I don't know if they will, but they should. They should. Yeah, so Tracy, I don't think they think they're in that column. They still think they're on the fence, but you have already moved them over. You're like, that's it. Yeah, that's team. it. Marcus Saul, I think they need to go ahead and wash their hands with him and get some value while he still has. He, he's value. tricky because right? he's got a player option for next year. Yeah, that so you is, don't know how long you're trading yeah. him for, which is always kind of interesting. He could pick it up on you. He could not. Yeah. We'll see. All right, who else? What about the Heat? I'm throwing Heat in, so just just because, not not that they want to make the playoffs and they're going to make the playoffs. I just think they have too many guys. Like, they can barely find minutes for Wayne Ellington because they have so many guys. Deion Waiters is back and actually played pretty well last night. Wait, I think they'll one? sniff around and try and say, hey, can we at least get a second for somebody? Can we, like, can we get a second for Wayne Ellington? Can we, can we, you know, and they all, obviously they'd love to get off one of these big it's, mega contracts they have, but that's going to be hard. To me, this team has though. a lot of the same guys that play the, you know, same style of play. And uh, yes, this selling, 
I think they need to do that because they have just too many guys at the same position. But T-Mac, after you saw the Warriors play last night, and granted, again, they were playing against the Laker team with no LeBron, no Rajon Rondo, no Lonzo Ball, um, and a team that isn't, you know, considered one of the biggest threats anyway. But after you saw what the Warriors are bringing out with Boogie <laughs> Cousins, should everybody, should anybody be in the buyer's column or should everyone <laughs> just wait until next year? I think everybody just should <laughs> wait. With these guys playing the way they are playing right now, <laughs> it's like James Harden woke these guys up after hitting that game yeah, win that, on yeah. them. And from that point on, they've just been taking off. All right, well, what about the Magic, though? Your hometown guys. Well, we need to be here. <laughs> and then we need to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think you'll ever get all the way to the right? Maybe one day. <laughs> I don't know, but made the NBA Finals. I, I, I think they have some some valuable guys on their team that they could get some great asset pieces back. Um, it's it's just not working out. My Again. favorite fake Again. trade in the whole league is can we somehow get Nikola Vucevic onto the Lakers? They need more back, shooting. Back onto the Lakers. They need more shooting and they need a center, a better center. They could even use another upgraded center. He checks both both boxes, but the Magic, I mean, they haven't made the playoffs since they traded Dwight, and they really, really, really want to make the playoffs. You don't hire Steve Clifford to not try to make the playoffs. And so they have Vucevic, they have Terrence Ross on an expiring deal. They have a lot of interesting pieces that, you know, we'll see what they decide to do. But so, T-Mac, they're only two and a half games out of the postseason. Yeah, they're close. You know how long it's been. Do you think they should be in that seller's column or that they should be trying to No, I, I, think, they, put? I think they should be here. Um, they have a really tough schedule coming up. And, you know, these guys lose a lot of these games before the All-Star break. We know what happens when teams come back from the break and they're out of the playoffs. Right. It's one, two, three, Cancun with some of these guys, so. <laughs> <laughs> they could be a next two weeks team, the yeah. Magic. Like, yeah. you know, what, right, they what could happens? make or break they could their move, season. Move over.